Hi guys! So today I've got the best things money can buy on Amazon. Now these are all products I have tried personally and all these opinions are as honest as I can be and I've tried to keep it as extensive as possible. All of these products relate to beauty in some way. They're either hair care, skin care or makeup items. So if you're interested, please keep watching and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and now let's get started. I want to start off with hair care first and the first product I would recommend is the John Frieda range of products. Now John Frieda is a British hairstylist who started his own range of hair care products. He does shampoos, conditioners and hair treatments for different hair types, different hair colors and even treated hair. Now I have tried his shampoos and conditioners and this oil elixir from the same brand and they are amazing. They make my hair feel smooth, soft, they keep it that way for days. They are very gentle, they are high quality products. They contain SLS, it's not void of that, but in spite of it, they are great products and they are priced quite economically considering the fact that it's such a big hairstylist who started these products. They're not too expensive nor are they too cheap and Amazon hasn't jacked up these prices as they usually do with their other ones so you are getting a pretty good deal. My next product recommendation are some hair brushes from the brand Kent. Now Kent is another British brand that makes fabulous hair brushes and makeup brushes. Not a big fan of the makeup brushes because I find them to be a bit rough and scratchy on my face because of the natural bristles in them but their hair brushes are amazing. Now, generally natural bristles are better for your hair than uh, synthetic ones like plastic or rubber and these brushes are generally made from badger hair or boar hair and natural bristles cause less breakage and damage to your hair. And I'm a huge fan of especially their teasing comb because teasing combs generally require a lot of back combing to achieve a ton of volume and keep it that way but with this one because it has natural bristles in them it takes just two or three tugs on your hair to um, make it completely voluminous and to keep it that way and it's just so effortless anybody can do it even if you are not pro at hairstyles so if you do want to try some really good quality hair products and you don't know where to start well these Kent hair brushes are definitely a great start my next recommendation are Batiste dry shampoos. Now this brand makes the widest variety of dry shampoos I have ever seen. They have dry shampoos for different hair colors, for different hair textures and they have the quirkiest designs on their bottles. I mean just their bottles look so attractive and make you want to buy them. I have the brunette a dry shampoo which is the brown tinted one for darker hair because Generally with dry shampoos, if you spray them a bit too close to your hair, they leave a white cast on your hair that refuses to budge no matter how much you try to brush it in. So naturally, if you're in a hurry and if you just need something quick, a tinted dry shampoo is a much better bet because you can just spray it whether it's near or far and that tint will just merge with your natural hair and not make it look like you have dandruff issues. So huge fan especially when you are lazy and you don't have time for a hair wash and you just want some dry clean hair or clean looking hair. And my last hair recommendation to you is the Garnier Fructis Texture Tease Dry Touch Finishing Spray. Now if you don't want to back comb your hair nor spray a stronghold spray because you don't want that stiff, unmovable, unshakable hair. You just want a slight hold that still moves and is flexible enough to incorporate into hairstyles. This is the best spray for the job. Now it has a gorgeous smell, like the minute you spray it you just want to keep spraying it all through the room because it smells that good. And it gives you some kind of uh, fullness to the hair without making it look too stiff. So you can still keep your hair flexible enough to um, put into buns or braids and especially for braids if you like that PC look with that whole messy strand and some strands sticking out just spray some of this on your hair braid it as usual and then deconstruct your braid to however messy or thick you want it and it is perfect for the job moving into makeup now the first brand I want to recommend to you from Amazon is Essence Makeup now Essence is definitely not exclusive to Amazon Nykaa has a great range of products from the Essence brand 
But there are a lot of great products that aren't available on Nykaa that are available on Amazon. Especially their eye primers, their concealers, some face products, some eyeshadow palettes, especially their gel nail polishes. Now, if you love pastels, Essence makes a beautiful range of pastel nail colors and they are quite long lasting in spite of domestic work that you may have around the house. ELF is another great makeup brand to try if you are looking to try something new. Just like Essence, they make fabulous products at very, very affordable prices. Now, a lot of ELF's makeup has achieved cult status because that's how popular they are on all social media, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. They are especially good for their highlighters, their blushes, eyeshadows. They have a great skincare range and makeup brushes. So if you do want to check out a new brand, Essence, ELF, they're amazing. And the last makeup brand I want to recommend to you is PAC Makeup. That's P-A-C. Now, when I first heard of this brand, I found it highly questionable because it sounded so similar to MAC. I thought it was just another company trying to sound cool and not exactly having a host of products to boast. But I recently purchased some products from this brand and I have to say, these products blew my mind. So I have tried products from various categories in this brand. I've tried their foundation, their highlighter, their moisturizer primer, a couple of brushes and their makeup sponge and I have to say I am pretty impressed with it. I have long been on a hunt for the perfect foundation for my skin tone so I just eyeballed it and bought the shade 2.3. It has just the right amount of yellow in it that brightens the skin tone and makes it look beautiful and lush. It has a natural finish, it's not too matte, not too dewy. It has a uh, light to medium coverage. For reference, uh, my uh, shade in the MAC foundations is NC42. If your complexion is the same as mine, then the 2.3 shade would be perfect for you. I bought the highlighter in the shade number 3 and this is a slightly golden toned highlighter and you get quite a lot of product in this pan. They also have some pretty great brushes. They are really, really good quality bristles. They uh, apply makeup very very well. Talking about makeup brushes, another great brand for brushes is the Real Techniques brushes. Now it was started by the Pixie Woo sisters who are makeup artists and YouTubers here. They have a great range of makeup brushes. They have some fabulous face brushes, eye brushes that come in nice compact sets so you don't have to be wondering what kind of eyeshadow brushes you need to buy for different purposes because they're all compiled well into one package. Again, it's available on a couple of different sites, not just on Amazon, but Amazon is where I bought it and I was pretty happy with the deals. So do check it out if you are looking for some great quality brushes. Eco Tools is another makeup brush company and they make brushes from sustainable products. All the handles on their makeup brushes are made from bamboo and they also use a lot of natural material in their brushes. A lot of times when you think eco-friendly, it kind of feels compromised on quality. They don't really do what you expect them to, but these are the exception. They are eco-friendly while still being effective, great quality brushes. And the last of the makeup brushes I wanna recommend to you is from this brand called BS Small and it's available on Amazon. And when I researched, I found that it's called by different names, but it's technically the same set of brushes. These are basically a set of kabuki brushes and they come in a set of 10 or 12 brushes and they range from face brushes to eye brushes. But they all have that similar kabuki shape, which is slightly full and flat on the top. So I would say that they are good for your foundation application and for your blending purposes. So if you don't want to be concerned with any of these other brands and you just want some basic brushes that do the job, these are perfect. We're finally at the skincare in some random category and a lot of these products are products up there in everybody's cult favorite list. And I find that these are definitely worth that spot because they do exactly what they claim and they just leave the skin feeling so good and nourished and just great looking. So the first product I stumbled upon when I was looking at the best beauty favorites a girl must have in her collection was Aztec Secrets Indian Healing Clay. 
and this is nothing but 100% bentonite clay and this is a great cleansing mask for impurities in clogged pores. Now this does the same thing that a charcoal mask does but charcoal masks can be pretty expensive depending on the brand you're looking for. This I find is a really great cheaper alternative. I mean, just look at the size of this tub. This is going to last you your whole life. You just need the smallest amount and mix it in with either water, rose water, or they mention apple cider vinegar. Just get the proportion right and it does a fantastic job. Another beauty favorite is bio oil. Now, bio oil is available everywhere, but nowhere as cheap as it is on Amazon, surprisingly. Bio oil is great for reducing scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, aging skin, and also dehydrated skin. Having bio oil at home is good for a variety of uses. It's I find Amazon to be a great shopping portal also for essential oils and facial oils. Now I have tried a couple of different brands because I just wanted to test out which ones were really pure like they claim to be and which ones weren't and all the ones that I have tried are definitely what they claim which is 100% pure, organic, cold pressed and potent. I have tried the brand Truly Essential, uh, Khadi and Aileen which is a very popular essential oil brand and I have found them all to be quite good and effective. So if you are looking for some great oils for your face or your body, you may want to check out Amazon because they do have a host of different brands offering different kinds of oils, things you haven't even heard of. Another item high up on the cult favorite list is Bioderma's Micellar Solution. Now, micellar water is a very popular makeup remover option and for good reason, especially the Bioderma one. So if you are looking for a great makeup remover, you definitely want to check out Bioderma because it's great for sensitive skin, it's super gentle and highly effective. Another highly popular product is the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. Now this is a cleanser for all skin types whether you have sensitive skin or normal skin and it's great because it's fragrance and soap free, it's pH balanced which is what makes it so gentle and it claims to remove light makeup and when it says light I mean very very light, maybe just a trace of a moisturizer on your face because it doesn't remove anything else, it's that gentle, it's not going to remove makeup and if you find that you do have sensitive skin and a lot of cleansers don't work for you, maybe give this one a go. If you're a skincare fanatic, you have definitely heard of the benefits of vitamin C, be it in moisturizers, serums, face packs, name it and it is there. But my favorite is the traditional and plain looking Phytosil 20% Vitamin C Serum. Now I love this serum because it's super affordable but it has a powerhouse of ingredients. It not only has vitamin C in it but also hyaluronic acid, rosehip seed oil, jojoba oil, ferulic acid, argan oil, plant stem cells and green tea extracts. All of these amazing ingredients help combat aging and photo damage and any kind of pigmentation or uneven or dullness that you may be experiencing. So if you find that you're doing a lot of things for your skin and your skin is still lacking in some department, maybe incorporate a vitamin C treatment somewhere in your skin regimen. If you are on top of the current trends, then you have definitely heard of facial razors. Now these are tiny razors with a single blade that you can use to remove the peach fuzz on the face as well as groom your eyebrows or any kind of hair that you have in other very sensitive or delicate areas. So I recently purchased my pair of razors from this brand called Piani which is a Japanese brand I'm guessing and this comes in a pack of three blades with a protective cover on the top. So I chose this over the other brands that I saw on Amazon because of the protective cover on it to just keep it better sanitized and um, easier to handle especially when traveling. I have yet to use this product but I will definitely keep you posted of the results. I hope that it's as good as it's claimed to be and if it is, well, I don't think I'm ever threading my eyebrows again. <laughs> Another fascinating product I found on Amazon were these charcoal nose strips from the brand Cleanse You. It's spelled C-L-E-N-Z space U. Now 
if you are a combination to oily girl you know the pain of having to live with blackheads or whiteheads and these no strips do such a good job of removing them like every trace of a blackhead my last very quirky product recommendation is this cleaning brush egg. Now this little device is perfect for cleaning your makeup brushes. Now makeup brushes, especially the kabuki ones which are nice and fluffy, can be a little hard to completely clean because all that product can get right into the bristles and it won't really come out too well. So just brushing it on your hands may not be the most effective to get them clean. So having a device like this that looks like a little mitten but has all these angles and rough edges on them can really help get your brushes nice and clean. So if you do have quite a few brushes in your collection and you can't find something easy and quick enough to clean, maybe this is the solution for you. And that was my entire list of recommendations. I hope you found the products fun and enjoyable to watch. I hope you try some of these because some of them are pretty groundbreaking and can really save you a lot of time and effort. So if you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please keep watching for more videos because I will come out with a couple of more ones pretty soon and I will see you in my next one. Bye!